Hey guys, Mel Modeler here. Welcome to the first of my restoration builds. As you can see, we have an old Liberator that is rather minging. Um, and obviously after the success of the Hasegawa build, I thought I would do some restoration work on this one. We've got the, the spare nose from that kit. Um, and we have some Coastal Command decals. So I think you can see where this one's going. Uh, let's crack on. Well, one of the first jobs is obviously to get this cleaned up. But I think what we want to do is take these propellers off and get this nose off so that uh, we can see what we're working with. Well, there you have it. There's the first bit done. So we've taken the nose off and the propellers. Um, obviously, this is a tail sitter, as you can see, so we can get some weight in there now that we've opened that up um, we're gonna have this with the bomb base closed so we've taken the doors off and we can see that there's a bit of sanding required there also cleared out the bomb bay and like I say we've got the propellers off so next step is to get this one cleaned up Well, there you have it, cleaned up, and you can see I did a pretty good job of weathering this back in the day. Um, what we're going to do now is get some sanding sticks on this just to make it nice and smooth. Okay, looking good. So what we're going to do now is get the primer on this, get it all nice and black so that we can see just what's left to do. Okay, well this is still wet, so I don't want to touch it, but as you can see We're not starting from a bad start point actually Still a bit of work to do on the seams here But generally speaking, um, yeah, we're looking pretty good Turning to a bit of build work then um, So I wanted to use the Bombay doors, uh, but I'd forgotten that these are open and actually, the closed doors are a completely different profile. Thankfully, I kept these, which I used as a mask for the other one. Uh, and yeah, they should fit nicely in there. Slight problem then, is that we have an aircraft that is not a Hasegawa kit, and I'm trying to use Hasegawa parts to fit. So what I think we need to do is remove this frame and I think these will then fit better. Oh, there you have it then. You can see also there's a bit of a bow in the fuselage there. Well, the removal of that frame has made it a lot easier to add some nose weight to that cavity. I've just shoved some tissue paper in there to keep it all together and a bit of PVA glue. And she's not sat on her tail anymore. However, we have had to completely fill that nose, which is a shame because we've now got a nice perspex front, which we kind of wanted to see some of the detail in there. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen now. Now, what I wasn't prepared for was that huge step. So that's gonna need to be reprofiled with quite a bit of filler, uh, which means that obviously we can fill in that gap there bit of filling to do there as well and around this area here well there you have it then what I hope will be the final bit of sanding the decals were showing through so we've uh, sanded those off had a go at the seam there and then if we turn this over you can see there's been plenty of work done on the belly area Right, let's get the primer on that again and see what we've got left. Okay, so next step then has been to prime the underneath. And what I've done is I've used the white primer and I've added obviously a bit of black to that 
and also some yellow to get some modeling pre-shading going on and yeah what we're going to do now is get the white on uh, I just want to show you this though slightly annoying as you can see sat nicely on its tricycle undercarriage here's the tailplane which is going to go back on and it's a tail sitter again which means I need to get some more weight in this nose area before they go back on but uh, yeah, a little annoying, but let's get the priming done. There we have it. Nice and white underneath. Slight variation there. Really happy with that. Uh, so what we're going to do now is get that masked up and get the grey top surface done. looking really good and it's decal time okay before we start the weathering process i want to clean up the perspex areas so you can see the silver paint from previously um, and where i've masked this up sort of roughly you can see some of the paint did come away so we're going to get some uh, thinners on that with a cotton swab and yeah hopefully get that cleaned up It's pin wash time. That's the pin wash done. And this is looking really good now. A few final touches now. Next time you see it, I think this will be finished. <laughs> 